Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Muhammad Ali and in the previous tutorial we left here, okay? So we have created a sign up page and then we create a database by the name social network and a table inside the database which is by the name users. So now let's connect this uh, our this database to our Visual Studio C Sharp project which is our Windows Form application and allow the user to sign up and create first, uh, I mean, account. So whenever a uh, user click on this sign up button, then we must get the input from all these fields and save it into, into the database. So let's double click on this sign up button. And you can see uh, BDN sign up click uh, event listener is created for that button. First of all, we have to get values from the text fields and store it inside some variable, string type variable. So the first one is username. Which is by the name txt name dot text, and the second one is the email. So let's copy paste this for the time saving and change it quickly. So user email txt email, and we do not need to get the ID, okay? Because we are we uh, auto increment the ID in the database. So whenever a new uh, record is entered in the database, inserted in the database, then the ID will be incremented automatically. And it is by the name txt password. The third one is the country, which is combo box, okay? So we are getting the value from that. It is by name txt country, which is our combo box. Okay, and we assign. Uh, I, I mean, this one is the name for that. So let's add some default values to the country. Okay, so click here on this uh, combo box, then click here on this small icon, and here click on edit items, and let's add some country names to it. So let's say Pakistan, India, USA, UK. France. Okay, so click OK and yeah, that's it. Now the next thing is to add validations on all these. Okay, so that a user must fill all the form uh, before he click on this sign. I mean, once he click on the sign of form, then it must validate that the user enter all these things. So let's say if username dot equals to null. So if the username is empty then we must tell the user to please write his username so we will say that in a message box please enter your user name let's copy paste this for the remaining ones the second one is the user email third one is user password and the fourth one is the user country let's add else if instead of just saying if and now let's change this also to email password country now first we are validating all these okay so if anyone is empty it will tell the user to enter that first and now if everything is okay then we will proceed and uh, store enter i mean insert the data in database okay now before i proceed uh, let me tell you one thing which is so we are going to create a class inside our app by the name dbxes okay link to this file will be available in the description down below you can simply download it from there and when you open this it contains this class and inside this class we have some functions so copy all of these control c and make sure that the name of this class is this one okay which is db axis so go to the visual studio now and let's create this class so here you can see this is our project name click here and click add class so class and the name of our that class is db access so let's give it the same name db access add so this is our class and now paste all of that, that data inside this namespace database project remove this class okay 
because we have already our class which is this one the data which we import from there you can see this now here you can see it shows these errors so all you're gonna need is to import this system dot data and then using system data as system dot data SQL client that's it so you can see it okay I will explain all of these things uh, when we will be uh, using it in our app for the sign up sign in insert update and delete okay for the SQL operations but for now let's skip this okay so now the next thing is to create a string which is our connection string or you can say a connection to our database so here you can see the string connection and first of all remove this string from here and now we have to uh, create our own connection string so for doing that click on these tools click here on this uh, connect to database okay connect to database now from here uh, you can simply select Microsoft SQL Server continue and here all you're gonna need is to write local since we are using local server okay so our server name is local and also from here you can select database name which is our this one social network okay if you remember social network database now click on it once and here you can see this is our connection string so copy this from here now click cancel and cancel and paste that connection string here and our app is connected I mean this is the connection string to the database now uh, the thing which I told you is this one okay this one is our server name if you want you can keep it local since we are using it on our PC and also if you want you can use this server name which is this one okay so this is basically our server name but since as I told you we are using it on a local PC so it will be perfect to use this local so yeah that's it now go to the signup.cs uh, file and here we need to uh, access our this db class so db axis which is our class name and let's create an object of this which is db object of db axis okay new db access so with the help of this object we can access the functions inside this db access class let's insert data so here we are going to say SQL command insert command and if you get any error here okay then make sure to import the system.data and system.data.sql client here also on this signups.cs file okay and now let's do this new SQL command and now here we need to write our query insert into users now this users is basically our table name okay we are inserting the data inside this users table and now here we need to specify the columns first so we have a column by the name name which is which contain which will store the name of all users then we have email then we have password and then country now we have to pass the values for uh, I mean to these columns so the values are stored inside the string variables which we created here on this page so values and let's pass that here so since the first one is name column okay so we have to pass the username here so you can say at the rate user name which is basically this username and then we have user email so let's do the comma and then at the rate user email comma at the rate user password let's pass that here comma at the rate and the last one is user country so let's pass that here now that's it now put a semicolon here so what we are doing here is that we write a uh, insert query and we want to insert the username which a user write on the form okay here and we are storing these data inside these variables which is username, user email, password and country 
now this username will be stored inside this first column which is username then we have this user email which will be stored here and then password and country and user is our table name now here we can say insert command dot parameters dot add with value now here are uh, more easy steps I mean to insert the data more easily but we want to make our data secure so we will be using the parameters okay and I will show you why I am doing this so the first one is at the rate username comma username now let's copy paste this change this to user email user email then user password user country and then user country by using the object of that class which is obj which is this one db access okay let's give it a proper name which is object db access and now by using this we can execute our query which is a function on our uh, db access class inside our db access class and which needs one parameter which is our insert command which contain the query and the values now by doing this thing we are basically uh, securing or you can say uh, make the data private okay of the users i mean the username email password and country so that no one can see the data that is which data are passing inside these variables so after that we need to get the result either if it is inserted or not so here we can say int row equals to this so if row is affected which means that is if row become equals to one then it means that the record is inserted successfully and we have to tell the user that his account is created successfully now once the account is created successfully we have to uh, send the user to the next page okay so for now we will add a simple form but later on we will add things to this new form which we are going to create so it will be a windows form windows form and let's give it a name is home page click add this is our home page and now let's go back and uh, here we can say this dot hide which will hide the current form which is the sign of form we will send the user to this home page form so we can say home page home equals to new home page home dot show and in case if any error occurs then we can say else let's copy paste this message box here paste that here error occurred try again now what this will do let me explain it first okay sql command is basically this query which we uh, we are passing to the uh, to the function on our uh, object or uh, db access class inside db access class we have this execute query so by doing this which i already told you we are securing the data or you can say add a privacy to our these variables so it will just display these thing okay and not the data which will be inside this that is let's say my name is stored inside this username Muhammad Ali so it will not be uh, will be showing to the user I mean to let's say any hacker or any unwanted person can access our this data we are sending the data to the database in a secure way when here we say that is uh, object access dot execute carry insert command we are uh, execute this insert command if we go to the db access class then here we have this uh, function by the name execute query which uh, which will accept that command from our sign up fetch which is basically our insert query and here it check first if the connection is established or not so equals to zero means that the connection is not connected so it will call this create connection function if i show you this create connection function 
then this function basically uh, will connect our uh, app to the database okay it is checking that is if the connection state is not open then it will uh, pass the connection string and it will open the connection for us it will connect our app to the database which is uh, in this case we name it social network okay and in case if there is any error so it will throw uh, the exception that is it will display us the error and after that uh, creating the connection uh, it we are basically passing the connection which is basically SQL uh, command uh, this one okay let me show it to you SQL connection by doing that uh, here as I told you we are passing the DB command and the command type is text which is our insert query and we are uh, we said that is DB command dot execute non query which is a built in function for executing the insert update and delete commands what we're forming these operations so yeah that's it now what we're gonna do let's run the app to see if it is working or not so the app is running now successfully and now let's enter the first record so let's say Mohammed Ali and then I will select country from here so let's say USA and then click on this sign up button and here you can see account created successfully if I click OK it sent me to the home page now let's go to the database and see if it is inserted or not so here you can see this dbo.users click on that and here you can see this script table as click here this uh, select to and this new query editor window and now if you click on this execute then here you can see our first record is inserted successfully now let's close this and let's come here and let's run our app again and now we can check it for another record so now what I'm going to do I am going to click on sign up and here you can see it says please enter your username so we must provide enter uh, uh, username first so let's say mr. chips and now if I click sign up it says please enter your password so I will enter any password and if I click sign up it says please select your country so we must uh, I mean we must fill all the form first so let's say France and then click on sign up it says account created successfully and you can see we are on the home page if we go to the database let's execute query and here you can see Mr. Chips is added successfully to the database so yeah this is working fine I mean this is incredible this is amazing so yeah that's it for this video and in the next video tutorial we will create a sign in form so that we can allow a user that is let's say Mohammed Ali or Mr. Chips to log in into the app or you can say to the home page using by providing his uh, email and password. So yeah that's it for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now.